I'm Darren. Hi, I'm Gordon. And, and we're, we're the, the two gay reefers. Hey Reefers, today we're going to look at the Red Sea Skimmer and what it's like in our life six months later on. We've had this skimmer now for six months. We check out the other videos up here about the uh, Red Sea Skimmer. These things are fantastic. Uh, it was definitely a game changer when we put it into Reefzilla. Uh, it was just the right size for the tank. It worked perfectly. It's so easy to adjust. Just a few simple turns, not even like little turns, and you can see the head height of the bubbles like straight away change, which is really easy to make small adjustments. And it's so quiet, you can barely even hear it uh, operating when it's in the system. Um, and it's relatively easy to clean as well, which is good. Obviously with all your equipment, you should be doing regular maintenance on it, and that is obviously to make sure it's operating in tip-top condition. It also uh, makes makes your, your gear last longer as well. So all it takes is a little bit of uh, grind under a grime under a uh, 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 impeller, and it's going to stop working. It'll not work to its full capacity. Snails, especially really small snails, get absolutely everywhere once they start breeding in the tank. One of those on an impeller or something that rotates just makes it a little bit more off balance, and then that starts collecting, and then it starts getting tipsy topsy, and then it. It just builds from there. So maintenance is awesome. Should be doing it regularly. We're going to strive to do it more regularly on Reef Sealer now that we're putting it all back together. So let's get into it. Let's get the uh, Red Sea Skimmer out of the tank and uh, take it into the kitchen and start giving this thing a clean. Something that we should be doing very often is obviously emptying the skimmer cup. This has probably been about a week. One thing that I like to do daily is it does have a blade inside which just cleans the inside of the neck. So a few turns on that every day. Then we've got the hose. I love this because it really shows how well the skimmer works. So open up the hose. Oop, there we go. A little bit trickier is getting the head off the skimmer. Obviously we need to turn it off first. Red Sea have made it so it's just a pull-off head. It is rather tight and hard to get off. I think what we're going to try and do is get some food grade lubricant to actually put around the neck on the skimmer to make it a lot easier to get off. With the skimmer head, I like to give it a clean every two weeks. Uh, good thing with the Red Sea is the lid just comes straight off and it comes out with the scraper blade. There you go, now you can see how well it does actually take the stuff out. Nice foam on the top. And as you can see the neck though is nice and clean on the inside. So we brought some nice little brushes from the cheap store, it's like $3 for a pack of three brushes. And it's just a matter of getting in there and getting it off. Basically just getting your hands dirty. Yep. Heads on behind the camera. The good thing though is the plastic the Red Sea have, has used really is non-stick I feel. And it makes it really easy. I mean, it's no hard scrubbing here, it's just a light scrub just to loosen it and then it just all falls off. I also like to let the water run, some fresh water run through the hose as well. Just to flush out the hose. Good thing about it, the scraper blade is it does detach from the lid. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of build up on the inside, not too much really. Generally everything's just a bit gunky. You got all your little calcium build ups there. So let's go ahead and take it apart piece by piece and then give it a quick clean. Hey 
Good thing about Red Sea is it has these simple screws and they have a very wide thread on them, which means it only takes a couple of turns to take them off. Got a screw here in the middle of the bubble plate. Nice big screw there off the top of the pump. Mainly it's just sludge down here. There's a nice little locking component there that keeps the cord in place. And then the pump just lifts off like that. So these ones here lock in the motor holding plate so you can actually rotate the orientation of the motor so you can actually have it configured so it sits different ways in your sump. So let's get this all clean. If you do have stubborn deposits on your equipment, get a bit of vinegar out and whack that on. That will dissolve most of these calcium deposits really, really easy. Now being six monthly, you might say, wow, you're going to a lot of trouble cleaning off the edges of the equipment. But that's what this sort of uh, maintenance should be. A really detailed clean to make sure everything is nice and clean and working in tip top order. So this is the little rubber notch that holds the cord in place to stop it falling out and floating around in the water. Drain catchers or whatever those things are, good idea. Yeah, it's a must with this sort of maintenance. Always have your drain catcher in so it stops stuff going down the drain. Now the good thing about the silencer is it actually has a little plug here, so you can actually drain it if it happens to fill up with water. So, as you can see, the body is quite large. It's always good to have a good big sink, if you can. I mean, you could even have a nice big tub outside, big plastic tub, it would probably be good. The thing I like about the Red Sea Skimmer as well is you actually have to assemble a fair chunk of it. But as Jake Adams from Reef Builder says, new equipment you should really disassemble it first so you get to know it and know how it works. And then that way when you do come to clean it, you know exactly how to take it apart and then put it back together. As you can see, Really easy just to loosen all the grime on these Red Sea skimmers just with a brush. As you can see, like a bought one. Okay, now onto the pump. Looks like we'll need a screwdriver. I asked Gordon to find me a screwdriver, he found A little bit of force pulls the, the motor cover off. As you can see in the impeller there's no actual snails or anything in there it's just fibers. Obviously though that will actually cause it to uh, spin off balance and reducing the efficiency of it also makes the pump work harder in the long run it will reduce the life of the pump. Sometimes you need extra equipment like tweezers and as you can see the fibers are just stuck in there, just plastic fibers so. All in all it actually is quite clean, there's none of the spokes in there are actually broken from the impeller as well which is good. I'm really happy with how clean it is. Now these motors, Red Sea has gone for a quality motor. It's a Sitchi motor, which is Italian made. I actually met the Sitchi rep when we went to Magna. 
and found out he's got the same last name as me. So that was a little bit freaky. <laughs> now, just being obvious here, but being an electrical motor, make sure you don't have it plugged in. Make sure you don't get any of the water on the plug itself before you plug it in. Make sure you, it's dry before you plug it back in. So now it's just a matter of reverse engineering everything. So today we showed you the importance of maintaining your equipment and showed you how good the Red Sea Skimmer is. As you can see, nice and easy to put back together, nice and easy maintain, and that plastic is probably the best plastic, so everything just pops off. Although it's a boring topic, it's something that has to be done, has to be done on a regular basis. So we challenge you, next weekend, Take a photo of you cleaning your skimmer, your equipment in your tank, and tag us at Two Gay Reefers so we know you've done it. And that's on Instagram and on Facebook. If you've enjoyed today's video, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, be excellent to each other and keep it salty, everyone. Bye for now. See you guys. Hey Reefers, today we're going to look at the Red Sea and what it's like six months up. Blah, blah.